in the last video i already show you how to uh you work with uh, geometries in post years so in this video we're going to continue uh, to analyze the spatial relationships between geometries in, using uh post years first let's go to the website to download the noble example uh, we are going to use in this uh, video go to post yes doc yes hub doc uh, org and then on the left here click number five spatial relationships upper right corner ipi uh, mb then you can download this one to your computer i'm going to download here to my downloads folder and next i'm going to open um pg admin also qgs because these two sometimes takes um while to open because we're going to see, might be used in a bit later but for now this uh, goes through here the uh, the source code you can use to be able to see the source code and also the output from uh, all the sql statements right here you can also see this and since i already downloaded the, the notebook to my computer i can right click and then open the windows terminal or anaconda prompt after that, uh, you need to conda activate SQL and Jupyter Notebook so that uh, we can execute the source code interactively within Jupyter Notebooks. Click the notebook. You should be able to see the notebook from here. The left here, if you follow my video to install package and also the extension, you might see this one. The left side here and this is what we're going to go through we are using the same data set we used in the last video so if this is the first time you're watching this video you might want to watch the previous video how to load the data set into post yes you can also look at the references in here so some of those actually come from uh, these references so we're going to go through the example here uh, line by line and let me clear all the output uh, first so that you can see uh, what I'm doing in here and first let's um, load uh, the extension and then connect the database oh. make sure that you see these uh, results otherwise that means your connection is um, not uh, established so you won't be able to run uh, the result of uh, the other sections you can also go to pjadmin and then type your password then you can connect to the database the left here click the nyc and then uh, schemas public tables and under the table you should be able to see the, these um, tables that we loaded in the last video also the geometry uh, used it so in this video we want to use some of these uh, in the uh, tutorial let's go back to the Jupyter notebook so first um, this example is about um, analyzing the spatial relationship between geometries so the geometries it depends on the type of the geometry so we talk about point uh, line string and also uh, polygon and those geometry can have some for example for polygon you have st area you can use this function to calculate the area of a geometry if it is a line uh, you can use the uh, st lens to calculate uh, the length of the line you can also create geometry from a uh, text uh, either it's point or polygon or line and these are things that we uh, did in the last video so for this video um, we're going to talk about the spatial relationship and some of the common questions that people might be asking is for example what is the closest a birex or park right so basically you have a point and you're trying to add, to find out other points uh, that is closest to a certain point and also what's the intersection of a subway lines and streets these are things they can answer using spatial relationship this is why some of the functions that we're going to use in this video will be helpful to address those kind of questions so the first one here we're going to analyze is this uh, so-called st equals I'm trying to figure out whether the two geometries are the same or not so this is the example that uh, came from the uh, intro to post yes you can click the link uh, to look at um, the, web, the website here uh, post code and but you can also look at for example uh, arcgis so use sql with geo databases this is also 
something that you can actually within ArcGIS you can also run SQL query uh, to access the database. And let me see here the geometry. I think we also have the one um, using SQL with the geometry. I might have the link, but uh, using SQL to me just create a proof of spatial um, relationship. Object. And you might, for example, click this one. Find the one that we want to. Oh. SQL functions. Okay, so I think probably um the link is no uh relation function for ST geometry. So if you click directly click this one, it should take you to the website. And this is where you can also see something similar to like a notebook. You can analyze the spatial relationship between loads and geometries. If you scroll down, you see all kind of functions. Some of the functions will be introducing also in this video so just showing you that uh, you can do that in Q, uh, post yes but you can also use uh, if you want to do that in ArcGIS you use uh, very similar you can also do those uh, SQL uh, statements with um, ArcGIS okay so the first one we're going to use is S, uh, ST equal and uh, this one trying to figure out whether two geometries are the same or not and there's multiple scenarios for example you can uh, check whether a point uh, equal to the other point or it can be a multi-point equal to the other multi-point and it can be a line it can be a polygon it can be multi-line and multi-polygon so basically this one can be applied to any data uh, geometry type and if they're the same they will it will return the result uh, true if this is not the same it will return the result as uh, false so in this example we're going to use the nyc subway stations table and first we need to basically query the database so this is how we can query the spatial database uh, the first one here is the name and the column and then the geometry s t s text that means we want to show the um the geometry in a human readable format right so and then from this uh, subway station table this is the way the conditional a uh, condition where the name equal to uh, broad uh, street if you just execute it will show you the result right name uh, broad street and the geometry so this is basically a binary format it's not human readable uh, it's readable but it's not comprehensible you cannot really understand what exactly this is because this one actually describes it's a representation of the coordinates so it's not human um, easily readable but if you convert that one to as uh, text we show you for example this is a point and then within the point it's a pair right x y so this is x this is y so it's much easier to understand once we have this geometry we can actually compare this one uh, to other geometry so in this case we can use the for example select name from here uh, nyc station where equal if that geometry is equal to this point because this is a binary representation of this point right? because we it, it, we copy from here and they're supposed to be the same they're supposed to be equal because this geometry uh, is from uh, to, to basically find a geometry that's the same as this one so if I just execute it will show you which one right which geometry because we're trying to select something from the nyc subway stations table right so the table we contain all kind of records and we're trying to find out which record is equal to this one and the result return is that okay it's uh broad street it makes makes our expectation because earlier when we query this one we know that the geometry is like this so if you're trying to figure out whether they're equal or not they are equal um and this is why you, how we can actually find out the uh, do the spatial query to uh, filter the database so the first one here is just, uh, equal and the next one is uh, intersect disjoint crosses and overlaps so the intersects is basically you can 
trying to figure out whether uh, a geometry intersects the other or not. Uh, you can do it for point. You can do it for all kind of scenarios, like from point point to point line, and also line line and uh, polygon and polygon. This is one very common. If you're using uh, any desktop GS software, they most likely have this kind of function. Select by location. So if you have a, uh, let's say you have a point layer, and then you're trying to figure out okay which which polygon or polygons intersects with that point layer, and then you want to see that out of that. And this is how you can use the so-called the intersect. You can use desktop with the kind of graphical in, uh, user interface, or you can use a, a SQL database to actually do the query. And this is way more uh, efficient and faster. It's just one a couple of lines of code and get the result, and you can um, retrieve. You can save it to a new result uh, uh, if you want. So then one is so called the ST intersect. So you need to pass in two parameters, uh, A and B. And then if this if the, the intersect, you will return the result as true. Otherwise, it will be uh, false. So the first one is intersect. The second one is disjoint. This is the opposite. If something, for example, this point, it doesn't intersect with any other points. Right? The point doesn't intersect with the line. This line does not intersect with the other line. And this point does not intersect with the polygon. Compared to this one here, right? The point is within the polygon, the line intersects the polygon. This is the function. So similarly, um, you need to pass in two parameters. And uh, if they, they intersect, it will be true. Otherwise, it will be uh, false. Next one, cross, uh, cross. Right? Some kind of a very similar idea. If a point or line cross the other line, the line cross the other one. Keep in mind, here it applies to all the points, all the types, right? For the intersect, you have eight scenarios, right? So we have uh, uh, three or four types. These are all the scenarios. The disjoint, uh, you also have eight scenarios. But for uh, cross, you only have four scenarios. So it'd be a point crossing a line, a uh, point line, 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 point polygon, and then a uh, line polygon, right? So you don't have point cross the other point or a polygon cross the other polygon. Just these four <coughs> uh, scenarios. Next one is overlap. So very similar. This one that has, but um, uh, fewer options. Uh, it's just point, point, line, line, and polygon, polygon. So they need to be have the same dimension. So as you can see here, if you're trying to figure out, okay, is this point layer overlap with the other point layer, or if this line overlap with the other line, and you know, similar to polygon. So most of these functions, you need to provide two parameters, uh, A and B, and yeah, the result usually will be a uh, boolean, whether true or false. Okay. So next, let's quickly take a look at this uh, example here. We're trying to find out the broad street, right? So the name and then uh, st as text. So we're trying to uh, show the geometry. So this is basically the point, and from the point. Uh, so we figure out that okay, so this is the point. This is basically the coordinates, right? So the NYC station, the subway station. If the name is a uh, Broad Street, then we can try to use this one to figure out okay, uh, where this uh, uh subway station is located in which neighborhood. So in that case, we need to use the intersect, right? So for the intersect, um, we you need to pass in two parameters. But for the intersect, you can also uh provide um, uh, 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 um, geometry and there's also the second geometry. So the second geometry, uh, we're trying to create a geometry from uh, text, right? So this is the point. Actually, come from this one, and you can also pass in the spatial reference ID. So when you create a point, you can uh, pass in the x y coordinates, also the spatial reference, and then it becomes another geometry. So this geometry, then you can compare the geometry of these two. And you will be able to actually uh, figure out okay, um, which which neighborhood uh, contains this subway station, right? We can just see one, then you get the result. So the uh, the name is a uh, financial district, right, in Manhattan. So in that way, you just this is basically just a simple uh, select by location, then uh, intersect. If you use ArcGIS, you probably have used that kind of tool before. This is how you can do that in Post yes. Okay, so this is how you can do the intersect. Uh, you can also do this join. So, for example, uh, 
you you expect that if I use the design, that means we are going to find out all the neighborhoods does not contain this subway station. So you're gonna get a lot more records. If you want, you can uh, go to this function right st um uh, design. So all you need to do, uh, just come here, then change this one to design. E i s j o i n t right. Shift enter. Right, you will see 120 uh, rows because that table has 129. So if said the one that we show you earlier that they intersect, all the other does not intersect. Result will be returned. So this is how you can um, apply the function to do spatial analysis. Next one is uh, touches. So ST touches that means basically a uh, a uh, 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 touch at the boundary. It doesn't get into the interior so for a point basically if a point is equal to a vertice uh in a line it would be it would be true right so a line also touch the other line a line touch a polygon and a line within the polygon boundary so the relationship only occurs within the boundary between two geometries this is how you can figure out whether they they touch or not and the next one is about within and contains. So these two are, are pretty much similar, but the, the, the opposite. If it's within, for example, a point, if they within another point, so that means pretty, pretty much they overlap. You can also have a point within a line, a, a point within a polygon. So you have all these uh, eight scenarios. Um, you can also use the distance. So you can calculate the distance um, between two objects, right? So if you're trying to measure the distance between those two objects you can use this function if you're trying to search something within a certain um, uh, distance you can use the d within this might be pretty useful if you're trying to find out for example what's the nearest um, uh, for example what's the, the if you have a let's say you have a you 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 live somewhere you're trying to find out okay within one meter um, buffer how many um, grocery stores are within your area then you can use this one to basically do the filtering uh, distance within something this is how you can use so simply you can use this function and then passing two geometries right the first one here can be a point the second one can be a line but it co also can be a polygon it depends on what kind of type uh, geometry types you have but you can compare and calculate distance in this kind of eight scenarios uh, it's actually very easy to use you click one so for example this is a point the distance from this point to this line is uh, three right if you're trying to uh, test whether uh, something is within a certain bar for example how many trees are within a 500 meter mark a buffer of the row and you can use this to calculate uh, so it's very very fast because in um, the database this is shows you the example right uh, is it within this it will be true if the point is not within this buffer so this is basically the source this is the the other one right so you're trying to figure out okay what's the uh, all other geometries are within this uh, buffer similar for a polygon you can do the same thing and those this is a real data set for example in the nyc the street data layer we're trying to find out okay so uh, what kind of streets are within 10 meter buffer of the subway station right so this is the subway station and from the previous example we know that okay this is the location and what we're trying to do here is to select uh, nyc uh, what kind of streets actually within 10 meters so basically we're trying to find out the intersection uh, with uh, in, in in this case if you execute look at this one how many uh, we have three uh, wall street um, broad street and nassau street you see from here this one this one <clears throat> might be the other one on the other side and this is how you can do the spatial relationship to find out the um within certain distance so um, very easy to use uh, you just need to replace and to find out okay what uh, kind of points you want to you want to pass in and this basically these points can be from your previous query or it can be something that you want to create and you can always use this to analyze uh, um, the data using uh, post yes
So in this video, we quickly cover some of these functions from the uh, to analyze the spatial relationship between these uh, geometries. Uh, equal intercept uh, disjoint crosses over of the overlap arches and also within uh, also contains distance within distance. Lastly, here is a list of all the functions. Uh, you can take a look at this function. You can click the link to look at the uh, more information. And uh, here on the web, shows you more examples uh, how you can use this. It also shows you some sample um, SQL statements. Uh, you want to learn more? You can uh, look at this. It'll be very helpful. And similarly, there are a lot more here. Um, for example, D within. You can always look at the API documentation to learn more. And some of those parameters are required. Some of those are optional. You'll be here. If you if you need to look into more, look at the um the website. Okay, so uh, this is kind of a, a brief video about analyzing the spatial relationship of uh, between geometries using uh PostGIS. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next uh, video. Take care. Bye-bye.